Hi, I'm Michael Pfeiffer from Industrial Metallurgists. Uh, this brief video is about why stainless steel is corrosion resistant. It's a companion to the article on our website with the same topic. So stainless steel is known for its corrosion resistance in many environments where carbon and low alloy steels um, will suffer from corrosion. And the stainless steel is, is used because it has corrosion resistance in these environments. Stainless steel gets its corrosion resistance from the uh, due to the addition of chromium to the stainless steel the chromium enables the formation of a very thin uh, layer of, of chromium oxide over the surface of the aluminum and that chromium oxide layer protects the aluminum from the environment now the more chromium that's added to the steel the 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 stronger the layer becomes the more uh, impervious it becomes to the corrosion conditions so a stainless steel has to have at least 10.5% chromium in order to be a stainless steel in order to form this chromium oxide layer. As more chromium is added, this, the, the stainless steel becomes more corrosion resistant. Um, so different alloys have different amounts of chromium, and that's based on, on achieving um, different phases present in the alloy, as well as the, achieving different corrosion resistance. Other alloying elements also are added to improve corrosion resistance. This includes nickel, molybdenum, nitrogen, and, and, and other elements. Um, and so alloys that, that, that um, have more of the alloying elements in it provide um, improved corrosion resistance and are used in more aggressive environments. Now, um, stainless steels are used in conditions where we expect there to be corrosion conditions. And sometimes people select an alloy thinking this will work for the application, not realizing that the conditions are more aggressive than expected or more aggressive than even thought about. And the material can, can suffer from pitting corrosion or crevice corrosion because the alloy doesn't have the, the, the passive oxide layer that's protecting the steel isn't uh, strong enough to protect the steel from the, corrosion, from the corrosive environment. So a different alloy should have been selected. Um, another uh, corrosion mechanism that's also important for stainless steels, especially the austenitic stainless steels like 304 and 316, is intergranular corrosion. And this intergranular corrosion involves attack of the grain boundaries um, by the corrosive environment, resulting in grains falling out and the metal losing strength. Um, so th this is a situation where you have the, the chromium reacting with the carbon in the steel to form chromium carbide particles on the grain boundaries, and that ends up reducing the amount of chromium present within the grains, resulting in attack of the grain boundaries. Um, <clears throat> you can learn more about stainless steel corrosion resistance um, and corrosion resistance in general in our online course of Corrosion of Metals. Um, we also have a training video on stainless steel metallurgy, which you can learn about by going into the, our, our videos sec section. And we've also written other articles about corrosion resistance. Um, so if you're interested in learning more, check out our videos and our courses um, to learn more about corrosion, uh, designing to improve corrosion resistance and selecting alloys for improved corrosion resistance. Um, that's it. Good luck with your metals and thanks for watching. Bye.